May 10th, 1995. Vasula Speaks My God, my Lord, make every tongue on earth talk about peace, reconciliation, love, faith and unity. Send your Holy Spirit in time. Show everyone that you are our help and consolation. Come and revive what little is left. Otherwise, how would the dead hear about your marvels in the dark? How would they see your righteousness if their spirit still lies in the land of oblivion? Your love for me has been so great, your mercy fathomless, and without any merit you have offered me wisdom, a priceless gift, and you gave me speech to declare your love. The footnote reads, I was not getting to the point. The Lord intervenes, Daughter, open your heart to me and tell me everything. Vasula continues, My soul is troubled. The Lord says, I am listening. She says, My opponents are more opponent than ever. A brutal clan is at my heels. The Lord speaks, Listen and understand. I have allotted you a prophet's seat. So for the rest of your life you will prophesy and will be associated with my works, but also with everything they had to endure. The footnote reads, The Prophets. Do not stand there as if you were suddenly wit widowed. Find your relief in my love, for I am with you. Have my peace. Will you write? Vasula answers, If you want me to, Lord. The Lord says, I want. Listen and write. Vasula, I think you have now noticed how Satan's fortifications are growing stronger. This is why I decided to hasten my day. Let mankind know. I will hasten the day of my return. I once said to you not long ago to hurry up with my work because you were at the dawn of the great events. Then later on I came to you to tell you that you are facing the great tribulations to come. But now I am telling you, Offer me incense and prayer every day, so that I may grant you the grace of relief. My daughter, grief is coming. Grief is well on its way into my sanctuary. This darkness of iniquity I foretold you. The three and a half years are already upon you. This hour has already been upon you since the beginning of this spring season. Your generation has entered the beginning of sorrows and trials, these terrible times of iniquity, the times of abomination and desolation, the hour of shadows and of the beast, the time thrice cursed by Satan, the hour when he swore to harass my saints and my angels, the footnote reads, messengers. The times are here, when the evil one will send one of his own to change my law and seasons. It will appear to you then that sovereignty and splendour is not around you any more. It will appear to my saints as though my court is not there to open the books. The footnote reads, Justice from God. It will seem to you as though I have abandoned you all, it will appear to you all as though the two beasts proved the stronger. But this will be for a short time, until my return. I shall come like a thief. I shall suddenly come upon you to break the sceptre of falsehood, and the earth will tremble. With just one of my glances, I will make the rebellion of every nation quake and I will dissolve this rebellion that brought this apostasy down on you like a plague in my flames. I will dislodge the apostates and the thrones of those who changed the seasons, my tradition, and who passed their life contradicting and opposing my ables. The footnote reads, the loyal priests, and the one 
the footnote reads, John Paul II, who shepherds them. I will stride the earth and will not leave one stone unturned, for I have sworn to devour with flames all that does not come from me and that defiled my image. For years now I have been sending you new apostles to be among you to remind you of my law and to listen to my warnings. The footnote reads, Jesus sighed. He continues, And to listen to my warnings they have been prophesying since many years now. But so very few listened. I have sent them to remind you to apply my law and practice kindness and compassion towards each other. I have sent them to be my echo, reminding you, generation, to repay evil with love and to love one another. But to this day your hearts are closed and harder than ever. You do not apply my law, nor to my requests. Your hearts continue to plan evil against one another and are adamant rather than listening to my calls that I had made known by my Spirit through my new apostles of your days. Since you have generation done all these things that I abhor, and you have not practised love and peace, but rebellion, instead you will receive according to your measure what you have harvested, you shall now reap. Vesula says, is there no word of hope for the faithful, the Abels as you call them, my Lord? The Lord says, To my Abels I say, I will make my justice known. Do not be afraid. I know you by your name, and you know me. Always be wanting peace with all people. Make sure that no one disobeys his leader, so that no root of rebellion begins in him. Continue in my grace and do not harden your hearts. I am your hope and in me be rooted. I will look after you while iniquity is rising at its peak. I love you all eternally. Be one in my name. Signed, Ich This, Jesus Christ, God's Son and Saviour.